house of fever. Who do you do, baby? Can nobody It is 7 a.m. in class. <laughs> it's so weird to be in class again. So weird. Excuse the appearance. I got up today at half five, 5.45, to do some prep work for my class because I got back really late from London yesterday and that was too tired to do it then. And then I just went straight to my class and because they start so early, I'm just gonna be in chill comfy clothes. We're having a break now from our class. It's now 8.35. We've had class for over an hour and a half now. I was unsure of the level that they placed me in. And in this class, I've just been <laughs> so worried because so many characters, I recognize them, but I either don't know how to say them anymore, or if I do know how to say them, I don't know what they mean anymore. I've got a lot of work to do in between these classes because I'm not going down to the, the beginner class. So I'm hoping maybe the people who are really good in my class want to push up to the advanced class because there's two advanced classes. The can nobody touch her? You do, yes, you, baby. Let us, in our hearts and minds, recall our many reasons for Thanksgiving. It's already Tuesday. <coughs> only Tuesday, sorry. And I'm already so exhausted. Classes only started yesterday, but oh my gosh, last night I honestly just fell asleep. I had a nap that just morphed into a full on sleep. And there's so much to do, and I'm getting quite overwhelmed at the moment, I think just because. Now that I have class and stuff again, um, it's just like really full on. I've got a late breakfast, lunch of porridge and I've made some coffee. And yeah, I'm just gonna quickly do some emails and stuff before class starts. So much to review from yesterday, just a lot. And I'm feeling very tired. <laughs> So we just had the first listening and speaking class, which is two hours. Uh, we have it again tomorrow. And oh my gosh, I was just really nervous to have to speak in class in front of other people because it has been over five years since I formally studied the language. So although my understanding, my comprehension and the like, characters and things, reading and writing will come back to me very fast, I think I don't know, a lot of the vocab I still have to go over. So um, in the beginning of the class, we all had to speak and introduce ourselves, which was a bit nerve wracking. But that's fine, just like some basic questions about our ourselves. I actually enjoyed the class, but it got to the end when we had to do a listening exercise and answer questions. And guys, I did not know what, what was going on. I honestly did not know what was going on. So I just know I have a lot of work to do. <laughs> I think I said this before, I'm getting a bit overwhelmed by the amount of work I have to do, but it's okay. I've booked my flight finally back to Lisbon this weekend, so I'm very excited about that. Took a while because the flight prices had doubled. I already feel like I'm getting a bit sick, but I think that's just, you only feel unwell because you haven't slept. Gosh, I've just spent the past hour or so um finishing editing a video it's uploading now and i've also been doing some admin work by reading some <laughs> legal documentation and stuff for portugal and i'm now just sorting out an instagram reel but it's been fairly productive to be fair it's honestly <laughs> maybe it's because i've been in the uk for a long time but i'm really struggling i'm really finding it quite cold even though it's september which isn't usually that cold in the UK, but for some reason, I'm finding it very, very cold. And I have been making myself copious amounts of tea. Got out the big, big mug. It's very big. Just to keep me warm. I, I need to find my scarf and dig it out somewhere. Because <laughs> it's so cold. I need to put on more layers, but yeah, I'm really struggling. Guess who snoozed her alarm like five times? Me. <laughs> God, I'm really struggling getting back into this kind of intense routine where you actually have to study or work and trying to juggle everything else alongside it. But it's okay. It's still early. It's still half eight. Start a new day. Feels like it's already the end of the week, but it's only Wednesday. I'm gonna go make some breakfast and then just get straight into it. Will you? Yes, you, baby. Guide me through your future.
I'm just trying to figure out what flight to book back from Lisbon. I would say I'm very good at finding very cheap flights, but things are just so expensive these days. Yesterday, last night, <clears throat> I already made a to-do list of everything I have to get done today in the blocks when I don't have class on. We're a little bit behind schedule. We're gonna start now. Unfortunately for me, a lot of our class communication is on WeChat, which is only on my phone, which is just is a distraction. I don't want to be around my phone, uh, even though all my notifications are turned off. So I've just re-downloaded WeChat on my iPad so I can use it because my iPad is what I use for uni. But I'm just sorting out now on my phone the textbooks that we have to get because we're not in China. So we have to sort out our textbooks ourselves, which is more difficult because a lot of places don't have the books. So I need to try and find the textbook for my class this morning. Somehow, if they have an online version, I don't know. So we just had class. Oh my god, I'm actually, I am starving for lunch. Oh my god, <laughs> today's class is the listening and speaking class and honestly, Every time I get called upon, because like in all the classes you get called upon, I'm always like, oh my god, am I going to be able to say anything or read anything? And I actually surprise myself because a lot of the uh, characters come back to me. Like in the moment I'm reading it, I'm like, oh, like today I forgot that I recognised loads of these characters in the sentence that I had to read out. And I was like, oh, didn't have to pause and ask her how to say them. So it does come back. It's just taking a, a while. I know I keep saying this. I have so much work to do, so much catching up to do, so much reviewing of old vocab to do from like the very, very, very basics. This is my desk set up, by the way, um, for those who are interested. So it's just the desk that I've always had at home when I was here during finals. I've got my laptop on my laptop stand here, um, which is actually a really cool laptop stand. I'll show you um, another time, but it's, it, you can use this laptop stand like six different ways. It's from a company called Moft. I would honestly highly recommend. I'll leave a link in the description box, but it looks like this and you can adjust it. There's like different angles. It can even turn into a standing laptop stand. So that's really cool. So I have this up here and I usually typically have like my Notion page open here for my notes and then then they use this um, Vuv 10 cent meeting thing. So I usually have that um, on this side of the screen and then this side is for me when I'm typing my notes, um, if I can, uh, alongside it. And then I have my iPad here along the, on the side, so on the bottom. So I'll be looking at the screen here and then my iPad is down here. And I've got Pleco on this side of the screen to quickly type up any vocabulary that I don't know. I have Good Notes open on the other side with all the notes so uh, this is usually I usually do the good notes notes after class has ended when I go through it because it's too fast for me to um, put these slides on it and annotate it as I go it's just the class goes too quickly for that so I usually don't really have this open it's usually a bit smaller and then here is just my WeChat class <laughs> um, just on the, on the side because since it's online and people haven't been able to buy the textbooks yet the teacher's been like sending us pictures during the class time of the exercises so yeah, this is the general setup. Break it down, mama, break it all down for me. What if I gotta do the kitchen next to me? I've got on with quite a bit of work this afternoon. I'm just gonna head out now for a walk. I actually haven't left the house in like two days, which sounds quite bad, but when I get really stressed and I've got so much to do and I'm exhausted, I just I can't do anything but do what I need to do. So I'm gonna go for a walk and call a friend, which would be really nice, and finally have a catch up, and then get back to it, because the to-do list is never ending. It really does feel as though we're back in the lockdown quarantine vlogs, where I'm back at home and just being lazy. <laughs> no, that's a joke. I have had dinner, and I did actually take my camera on my walk, but it was actually a very nice walk. I finally booked my flight back. Sometimes I look at my expenses and I'm like, where is this money coming from? <laughs> because I don't know how I managed to spend this much money this month yet when I, I don't know, I don't know. But now I need to do my Chinese homework before tomorrow and try and buy the textbook for t before tomorrow morning. I would work in my room at this time, but I think because my class is so early tomorrow in my room, it's nice to like change up the environment sometimes. So I'm here. The first thing I'm gonna do is try and find this textbook to buy online. It's $5 on this like random website like this random digital Chinese PDF book website. I don't know whether to trust it, but it's only five US dollars, which is like three or four pounds. So maybe I'll try, and if I do lose this money, then 
then I lose this money because I do need this textbook ideally um, and I would ideally like it um, in a PDF version rather than um, an actual physical textbook because I use my iPad to annotate. I've just put in my card details to pay. It's stuck on like this wheel. It's literally not doing anything. Just like on over here, girl, that's right. Then give me that twirl, good girl. Perfection. Want you to guide me through your features. Who do you do, baby? And I'll follow the leader. Will you? Yes, you, baby. I'm so excited. It's 11 p.m. and I'm still working. I just need to finish this sheet of exercises and then I'm going to bed. But classes are at 7 a.m. in the morning. There's so much. So much. Good morning. I <laughs> stumbled out of bed this morning at like 10 to 7 and my class started at 7. It was one of those days where, because I was up again yesterday until like past midnight. Uh, the time is guys it's getting to me so yeah i basically did this morning's class in bed i was sitting up though and i was paying attention but i could not get out and sit on my desk so yeah did it from bed <laughs> class has been over for about half an hour now i've just made some breakfast and i'm just going to get on with reviewing this classwork because guys this teacher so this teacher we have two chinese language classes a week she goes through the content so fast i can barely keep up in class and i'm just kind of concerned because this week we've only had our compulsory classes and i'm already like feel like i'm drowning and next week our elective classes start and i'm choosing to do all three of them even though they're completely optional you don't have to take any electives but i'm doing all three and that's three extra classes plus our writing class which is compulsory starts next week it didn't start this week so this week we've actually only had like two classes and it's been a lot next week i'm gonna have six classes I can do it. I have been begging, as you know if you've been following along on this uh, whirlwind of a journey to get me to China. I've been begging my university to send me this final document for over a month now, for like two months or like a month and a half, like a very, 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 very long time. Yeah, like two months, I think. Yeah, since pretty much the end of July nearly the end of September and I finally got a response from the teacher who was literally ignoring my messages for three weeks. She finally replied, she'll tell the head of the college that I said I'm willing to undertake all the quarantine costs. I know it's gonna be really expensive, but I wanna come. And then she said, okay. Then today I messaged her two days later and I said, hi, is there any update? She finally replied to me just now saying she'll give me the answer tomorrow. I just need to prove that I have the amount to pay for quarantine in my bank account, which is 1,200 USD. I'm not gonna think about that. And then also buy the insurance for my studies for the year. So I'm gonna do that right now and hopefully she can send it to me tomorrow. And then I can get my visa. And then I can hopefully book my flight. I'm very happy, very, very, very happy because it's been so restful. I honestly spent <clears throat> the past couple of hours doing all the admin stuff for this new news that I got from my teacher. So double checking the flights that I wanna take, double checking the entry requirements for my transit country. And now we just wait and hope that she sends it to me tomorrow because if she does, I can then book my flights and it's really happening. Oh my god, the camera just fell over. Anyway, I am just making um, some more tea. This time I'm gonna go with loose leaf tea that I got back from that I brought back from Sri Lanka. Uh, this is chai masala. Honestly, masala is one of my favourite teas. So I bought some when I was out in Sri Lanka. We are finally getting around to starting my Mandarin review but the thing is I don't actually know whether to start with the lesson that I had on Monday for the language class or the one this morning because I still haven't finished going over the one from Monday. I think I'll probably go over like the vocab we learned today. I've just been practicing my Chinese characters and for some reason I started looking at the way I was holding my pencil or my Apple pencil 
and I went down this rabbit hole of figuring out whether I'm holding the pen correctly. Look, I even googled what is the correct way to hold a pen. <laughs> and then it led me to this BuzzFeed article. So I'm intrigued, let me know which one you hold your pen like. Because I would say I don't do the tripod or the lateral tripod, I'm more the quadrupod. Like the lateral quadrupod or the dynamic quadrupod. It's just got me down this weird rabbit hole and now I'm very curious about whether I am holding it wrong and how everyone else holds their pen. So do let me know in the comments. Good morning today. Well, this morning has been, so I'm looking like this because I've just been glued to my laptop trying to get through some content because tomorrow I fly back to Lisbon and it's just gonna be really hectic and I won't have much time to do things. And I also have some deadlines that I need to meet today. So yeah, I haven't really moved since I woke up. What I've had is a cup of coffee. So I'm gonna go down and make some breakfast soon. It's got to the time of day where I'm unsure whether I should have breakfast, like porridge, or lunch i really don't know i think i'm gonna have porridge and then because i make my porridge with water nowadays instead of with milk i usually get quite hungry um quite soon after i've had it so i think i'm gonna have porridge and then finish off the rest of the soup that i had yesterday i'm so hungry <laughs> I'm just cooking dinner and I actually went into town to go and get my film developed and the pictures actually came out really nicely for my disposable camera from last summer because I didn't use up the roll, but it was a really nice cycle. It was actually really, really nice outside today. England's weather, the British sun came out and I had a cream tea with my mum, which was really nice because I haven't had a scone in such a long time. Also, when I came back, I was just on my bed scrolling, doing nothing for like over an hour, which is not good because I have a million and one things to do at the moment, but sometimes you just need to rest, I guess. That's what I'm telling myself so I don't feel bad. Yummy. I really, really need to get some editing done and everything, but I also really, really, really need to pack for the next two weeks. So I, I'm just gonna pack so that I'm not stressed and rush, rushing it in the morning tomorrow. I have no idea what to even take with me. This is the situation. My bags have been like this since I came back from Portugal. Like it's all a bit of a mess. So um, let me sort this out. This is the bag that I had in London for a bit with some clothes in. That's got a lot of clothes in, but I haven't touched it for like a month. I've been just living in the same clothes. I'm gonna take this bag, I think, slightly bigger because I'm taking all of my electronics for my classes. I also need to pack an outfit for London because I've got an event, a special event, so I need to take heels with me as well. So yeah, I'm just you should get this sorted. I don't actually know why it took me so long to pack and decide what I'm taking for just two weeks. I really don't know why I really struggled, but um, I did. I finally finished packing now though. Thank God. Brush my hair, always looking like a mess Only me, I could go and do the press Give it a little more fit, I'll be set And I hope that you'll miss it I stay that now and I'm stuck in my bed Day and night, never feeling my best night